and right. you know, go in there and you get a little something, yeah. whatever, and it's nice. Here's what? the other thing, Galvin. You and I have talked about this off the air. If I wanted to go get an HJ from somebody, I know where to go. I can just drive down Kennedy, and there's a million places. Up Horror Island. Hello, Gam Gam. Come on, Dad. Uh, not yeah. Yeah, not deep. Oh, my bad. That's uh, Melissa's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't want to intrude on your relationship. <laughs> thing. The place that I have gone to is on uh, Tampa Road. It is next to a nice restaurant. It's very bright. The windows, I mean, the doors are tinted, but it's also because all the doors are tinted in that shopping center. You walk in there, it's very clean. And uh, they ask you, you know, there's a, there's a menu there of what you want. And I tell them I want a half hour or an hour. And then you go back there and, and you go in the room and nothing nothing but a massage happens now we've talked about this before i don't put out the signals no. i don't leave money on the table and all that stuff put out the vibe man. well what i'm saying is that at this point i was going there because this was the first lady to get on the bars and walk on my back right and i it was fantastic mm-hmm. uh sex was the furthest thing from my mind at this point um now don't get me wrong if i turn around and she was naked i'd go well, what are we doing here you know? uh but but uh like what if i'm the customer and I'm in there, and Chad Crasher comes and kicks down the door. I go, but, but I didn't do anything. I'm just getting massaged. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't like, yeah, and the other thing is, I, I would, they would, they would, they would believe. So I, 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 I love how I'm going to try and mess with it. Well, here's the thing, though. I think, uh, really, for any crime, if you tell the officer I wasn't doing anything, they'll let you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I'm well, sure it too if we got busted in a massage parlor everybody would believe that we're just there for yeah, massage yeah. right uh, Wells told me when um, I don't know if it was in his rookie year or if it was just like a, an updated thing that they did because when he plays for the Yankees and the Yankees were over there by Jack Jack City right they were right on the entrance yeah. to Jack Jack City that they told them because at the time those weren't massage places they were lingerie places right. they were going there yeah. so um so I, uh, he said that the FBI comes in or FDLE or somebody and talks to the whole team and says the massage places or the lingerie places are there all have cameras. All of the inside of the rooms all have cameras hidden in them. So if you think you're, yeah, right? But if you think you're in the room and you look around, you're like, I don't see anything. Know that there's a mirror or a fire extinguisher or somebody or a fire alarm somewhere with a, a camera on it. So those guys would, well, like, I'm never do that. would ruin their careers. So, uh, so they say uh, on the internet, the only thing that you'll get in trouble for is uh, lewd conduct, and if you get caught handing over money, that's, that's when you get prostitution. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But if you're paying, if you're hand, like I pay mm-hmm. at the at the onset, right? When so you I, walk in on my credit card that yeah. my wife sees, you know. Um, that's but that's the thing. I guess if you go inside, you want strike deals. Yeah. So I uh, from from uh, my friend's understanding. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if you don't, so hey, like, since you are on camera, on? if Perfect. nothing is said and you just leave tip, that's there, that's where the f- fine print ticky tacky, as Don would say. See, that's interesting. I either leave the tip on the credit card or if I have cash, that's what I do when I'm walking out oh, like, see, in the lobby. I normally just leave my cash on the table, don't say a word. Yeah. And then next thing you know, my friend's get nailed me up. Uh, <laughs> the interesting thing is, I went to Ian's girl, who is definitely oh, a legit no. massage yeah. therapist. To the point where she'll hurt, hurt you. Yeah. Uh, and the exact, it was the exact same process. The day before you go in there, get naked, get under the sheets, do the whole deal. And then uh, when it's over, get up and you're in the lobby, tip her the way out. You feel it was weird that Ian was at a lobby. Was it her or was it somebody else we were talking about that's a nudist also, though? That was her. She is a nudist, yeah. but she is not nude while she's no, doing the no, massage? No, no, no. There, there, oh, there, is there, there, is there, yeah. yeah, is there any capability of that? Is I, that a thing? I said that while I was on the air with Ian, I kind of as a joke, and then I went there later that day or the next day, and she did not offer that. So, oh, okay. Uh, and, uh, and it was funny because the last time I went in there, there was a woman in there that I also know that has like a little shop in there as well. Like she does some sort of cool. healing thing or whatever. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Either one of them. Maybe any offers. She yeah. may do Reiki, which is not to be confused with rapey. No, This one here, this Tampa madam that they oh. arrested, yeah. apparently yeah. it was yeah. running yeah. at barber shops as well. Oh. So and I didn't know I've seen that on the internet that before. That uh, come to the barber shop and then uh, winky winky, and I'm yeah. like, what are you doing? Yeah. Let's see about that. that. that thing that you were in. Yeah.
gym. What? Yeah. Trafficking? Uh, yeah. Like they, ramming girls out of the gym? Well, because they were like a personal trainer. What? And then they were having, you know, their clients, girls, would come work out, and then they were trafficking them. Wow, oh, man. Hot. How'd you get high? Oh, you talking about your dad? No. Uh, <laughs> uh, I told you my brother. Uh, it's all uh, about uh, uh, He had a Russian uh, doorman that was working for him and pulled up one day no, with I a bet you. fan full of women. He was like, they work here. No, I was like, no. They work here. They work here. He was like, that. No. against human trafficking. She said massage parlors operating late at night are a red flag. Mm-hmm. So if you're in a sure, place yeah, that's right. open at 2 in the yeah, morning or yeah. something like that. I think also if they don't have it, their license and stuff right. prominently displayed mm-hmm. or the number on the thing, whatever, if it's just an open sign. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, the licenses, that's just a piece of paper. You know what I mean? I know, but I'm saying like if they have the license number on the outside of the thing or if you look at like uh, reviews or something and there's reviews from ladies. $220 for a massage and sex with the attendants. $220? Sex? sex? Like straight up sex? I'm not, yes. I'm not having sex with the massage. No? That's what I'm saying. No. For real? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The only place I've ever considered paying for prostitution was Amsterdam. And that's only because everybody's. Oh, that's different. Yeah, You're going there for that. Yeah, but like uh, here, I wouldn't pay for. I don't. I don't think I would pay for sex. I mean, it depends on if I'm having a weekday yeah. or not. What about it? Like, uh, did you ever see the curb it's a weekday, Like a Monday? Or not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think you know. You know what I meant. Oh. You ever see the curb of the where Larry gets a happy ending? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, no. <laughs> that's the way I would think. I'd be like, no. Oh, yeah. I'd carry out my O until it was over. Oh, okay. We yeah. did uh, we did something over in Sarasota, and we were staying over there. I don't know the band was playing or doing something, whatever, with the show. But uh, I got a massage, and uh, the ladies massaged me, and I literally went like this. I just got and she started laughing. She, I, she, I go, did I fall asleep? And she goes, yeah, a couple times. And I was like, oh, sorry. Carmen, I used to do that to Yoko all the time. That's what you do. Yeah. yeah. Yoko put me right to sleep. I yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Remember in Germany, we drove by that giant brothel. Yeah. It was like, like the size of a uh, best buy. <laughs> <laughs> it was legal. It was thing that is out there is uh, the massage in the uh, casino. 
Where, oh, like while you're at the table? At the table. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, right? It's very weird because uh, that's, but, regardless of, uh, you know, whether there's sex or not, that's kind of an intimate thing. Yeah. You know, and the feelings and this, and you're making noises and stuff. I yeah, agree. that's so gross. But man. after you've been playing for an hour and you're hunched uh, over and you're like, oh, I've never done it, but it, it does annoy me when somebody next to you does it. Stretch. Yeah. Dude, they should have an area. Yeah. Yeah. Know, yeah. yeah. But they don't want you to stop gambling, so. No, but they should have tables where it's just there. These are the massage tables, yeah, like, like the smoking tables. Yeah. I don't understand if they have that, they might as well go the next step and just have somebody show up and feed you while you're there. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, that's what I'm saying. Be like, I don't want to play poker with someone who's eating a cheeseburger. No, but they're, I mean, they're just, well, uh, yeah. If they, they, have the, if they have the section, like they would have the massage section, they would have a where you can eat section. Yeah. So you're not going and playing with them unless you go to that specific table. Uh, for sure, though, at, uh, you know, not necessarily here or whatever, but in Vegas, you know, whenever we went one time and I sat down and was playing slots and I hit for like 600 bucks or something, a girl immediately came over and said, hey, congratulations. I said, thanks. And she goes, you'd be a winner down here and a winner up in your room if you want to. And I go, yeah. I was like so confused. I'm like, do you work here? Are you giving me my money? What's happening? And I go, oh, no. Yeah, I'm not. I just want I'm not giving it to you. Yeah. First time, like, me and Pete went to Vegas. I was like 22 years old. And uh, I was playing blackjack and I was winning and Pete's talking to this girl and he's like, come on, come on. And I'm like, nope, I'm yeah. winning money right now. And I, I walked away probably with like $300 big hole at 22. Sure. And I turn around and I'm like, Pete, she's a hooker. And he goes, no, she's not. And I go, yes, she is. And he's like, how do you know? I go, no, she's talking to you. <laughs> and I finished playing and I come back and I go, what happened? He goes, that's really hooker. Yeah. <laughs> and Pete only did. Pete just didn't have the money. Yeah. 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 Oh my, how things have changed. Yeah. If a beautiful lady would like to sit there and feed me chicken tenders while I gamble, I'd pay for that. Wouldn't it be awesome? Yeah. Right? Cross would... on the belt. You don't want that. <laughs> no, dude, it'd be whatever, man. No, it'd, be, it'd be great. I'm not a slob. You, I can yeah. keep if it comes off there. If a handsome man wanted to feed me chicken tenders, I would be fine with <laughs> right? that, too. Yeah. This was one of your chicken tenders, yeah. Yeah, I like gambling. And now, I, now I want chicken tenders and a massage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Start off perfect. I'm going on Saturday to get, to a, get a chicken tenders. No, I got to get a massage. My back is my from, back straps. From where? Like, should we expect you to be picked up? No, no. Okay. This is a legit, uh, legit place. It's this uh, woman who does massages in St. Pete. It was hard not to find a uh, like a what? Can you hear that echo? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, I, is I that thought mic on? I thought I was having a stroke for a second. That mic is not. Uh, uh -oh. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, so yeah, just, uh, yeah, yeah, that was, but yeah, so it's harder to find uh, legit places in Sabi than I thought. Maybe I don't think I was, if I was you, I wouldn't care about a legit place either because you're single. And, yeah, no. Uh, like if, if I went to this place and at the end she was like, yeah, uh, I'd be like, oh yeah, take an extra. Whatever. But again, that follows you forever. Yeah. What like luckily. Like, again, a man. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, like who cares? Like it's one of those things where you're going. Yeah. Yeah. Try and go get a job after you get caught. Do you think I'd turn him down for a job and you're gonna get caught and get that? Yeah, yeah, here. Here, like, but right. yeah, like okay, let's say he gets fired from radio and he has to go get like a legit job at like Publix or something. Least of his charges. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got a point there. Yeah, most, most employers don't go, oh, cool. When they see <laughs> right. arrested for They're something. like, good yeah. for you. Yeah. That's neat. Well, I, w I wouldn't be oh, would sex trafficking. Oh, uh, uh, the prostitution. Yeah, yeah, it, it may not even be on his record. Yeah. It would be a misdemeanor. Yeah. yeah. It's so. on your record. No, 